I remember as a five or six year old, my grandfather would bring me over to Cardini's house, which was truly amazing because Cardini was known not to associate with very many magicians, you know, and he was just an extraordinary act. I only went to Cardini's twice. I was largely schmoozing with my grandfather, but kind enough to show me something. I mean, I still remember vividly him showing me a reverse fan that he made, you know, in this enormous circle uh, of space, you know, the way he made this fan in his hand. Cardini was probably the greatest act I ever saw in my life. <laughs> As a treat, my grandfather brought me to a magic convention in Chicago when I was very young. And Cardini did the act. I think it was the last time he ever did his act. And it just was this extraordinary combination of elements blending together. The characterizations of him as the tipsy Englishman and his wife Swan as the page boy assistant. And the idea that these miracles just sort of happened to him. He didn't produce cards. Cards appeared in his hand. He was desperate to get them out of his hand, and the second they got out of his hand, there were more cards in his hand. It just really transcended anyone else doing similar effects. It's also something from an era that no longer exists. The end of vaudeville, in which you could make a living doing an act for a few minutes. You would just go from town to town, from you know house to house, and do your act. And it just was wonderful. It was breathtaking. <laughs> 